hi my amazing family welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how i moisturize the cornrows if you want to know how i do that keep watching if you've watched my last video you know that i prepared a hot oil treatment and then i washed conditioned and deep conditioned my hair in case that you want to watch the full process check out the description box because there is a link there for you after i wash my hair on the next day i am going to moisturize my hair first what i'm doing right now i'm just spraying just a little bit of water on my hair so my hair can be more manageable i'm using plain water now I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner. What I'm gonna do right now, I am just going to try my best to apply it on the new growth. I am not applying it on my scalp, but on the new growth. I didn't fast forward the video so you can see in real time how I do it. You see in a cone roll, there is two sides I can say. So right now I'm doing the left side of the cone roll and then after that i am going to do the same thing on the right side of the corn roll you see what i'm doing and then after that i am going to moisturize the braid itself you see the corn roll now i'm moisturizing the corn roll i received this question a lot how do you moisturize the corn rolls it's not easy to moisturize your hair when you have corn rolls but you can try your best to see if you can moisturize your hair you know After I finish to moisturize the cone roll, I am going to now moisturize my ends. It's really important to keep your ends moisturized. During the 3 months cone roll challenge, I am not going to moisturize the cone roll every 2-3 to three days just like I did it right now. I will only do that after each wash day, okay? So that's why you see that I'm putting a lot of moisturizer because if you're gonna do that every 2-3 to three days, you will have a lot of product buildup on your strands and I'm telling you, your hair gonna be really matted at the end of the challenge and we don't want that because we don't want to have breakage. So this is what you need to remember. After each wash day, you are going to moisturize your hair just like I'm doing right now. But you are going to moisturize your ends two to three times a week. I don't know what is your routine, but usually I moisturize my hair every three days, which means that I moisturize my hair twice a week. So I will keep the same routine for my ends, just for my ends but you are going to moisturize the new growth and the corn roll itself after each wash day to prevent product buildup and to prevent your hair from getting matted as you can see i am just repeating the same process all over my hair you see that i am just doing the same thing over and over again until i finish to moisturize all the corn rolls If you are watching right now and you're not a subscriber, I want to tell you first, thank you so, so much for watching the video. But I want to also tell you, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications bell so you don't miss another video from me. I will be very glad to have you as an official member of my amazing family. We need to grow this family, right? So subscribe and turn on your notifications bell so you don't miss another video from me forgive my voice today because i'm really not feeling well i have a cold i have a headache but you know i have to get the job done that's why i'm still doing the voiceover but i'm really not feeling well after i apply my leave-in conditioner right now i am going to oil my scalp 
and I'm also going to oil the cornrows just to seal in the moisture. As you can see, I also try to push the bottle on the raccoon walls, you see, just to cover my scalp because I also got this question, how do you oil your scalp? You know, I just try to push the bottle on the raccoon walls so I can make sure that I oil everywhere. I'm going to repeat the same process until I feel like I really reach everywhere, okay? As you can see, I'm using the Revealed Pearl Oil. This is my oil in case that you don't know. It's a great oil. It really boosts hair growth. It's amazing. It's very light. It's not greasy at all. So it's not gonna weigh your hair down. It's amazing. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but this is the oil that I was using during the last three months of the six months growth challenge. I don't know if you remember, I was telling you that um, I'm trying something on my hair. So that was the oil that I was using. People who are using this oil, they know that it boosts hair growth. I received a lot of great testimonies. I'm telling you, this oil will boost hair growth. As you can see, after I oil my scalp, I also put some oil in my palm. I also oil the cornrows, my hair strands, and my ends. Now I am just massaging my scalp. I received this question a lot. How do you massage the cornrow? So I'm showing you today how I do it. You see, I just press on the cornrow, trying to reach my scalp as much as I can. And I massage my scalp. You see, I'm giving you a closer look so you can see. You see that? So this is how I massage my cornrow. I don't know how you do it. Let me know in the comment section. How do you moisturize, oil your scalp and massage your scalp? with the cornrows today i showed you everything this is how i do it every single day if you like the video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up this is very important to me if you like it please let me know that you like it when you like my videos youtube will recommend my videos even more i will get more recommendation and that's the only way the channel will grow okay so like the video i will really appreciate it now i'm just showing you how i try to part the cornrows back with my fingers because you know when you have new growth it's messy you can't really see the parting so that's why i'm trying to part everything with my fingers the line is there you just can't see it because of new growth when you part it back it's gonna be less messy it's gonna be less tangled you see so i'm just trying to move everything back so the style can look neater that's it for the video as i always say you know that i love you so so much because there's a lot of people out there that you can sit down and watch but you decided to give me few minutes of your precious time it really means the world to me thank you so so much for watching i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye